Hello there, and welcome to Simple Guy Videos. I'll be bringing you honest reviews of games. Today, we'll be taking a look at No Man's Sky. The footage I have was recorded from a PS5 and will contain some spoilers. No Man's Sky was released in August of 2016, and had a rocky start to say the least. However, now it's the ultimate comeback story. The devs worked hard to fix and address the issues and complaints people had, and still adds updates to the game to this day completely free. As of this writing, there was a new update recently in the beginning of April 2023. The dedication the creators have shown this game is outstanding and deserves the respect and recognition. No Man's Sky takes place in space. Now if you're thinking that's a big area to explore, you'd be right. So right in fact, that open world doesn't really cut it when describing the game. You can freely explore different galaxies, landing and taking off from billions of procedurally generated worlds, collect procedurally generated ships and multi-tools, and complete quests and missions for various factions. You can also build a home base on any planet you like. There are two main story paths, each with its own objectives. Ultimately, they have you traveling to a different galaxy, ready for you to explore. It's a very open-ended, the purpose of life kind of experience, but it's not the main focus of the game. The main focus is the exploration finding new planets, scanning things for information, flying through space and atmosphere. These are the point of the game. It's all about discovery and making your own story. There is plenty of combat to be found if that's your thing, both on land and in space. You can decide to be a merchant, buying and selling things to amass a fortune. You can become a pirate, attacking freighter ships and selling the loot on the black market. The game is as fun as you make it, with the freedom to support that. If you need more structure to push you along, then this game might not be for you. The combat in this game is not bad. You have a multi-tool which functions as your resource harvesting tool, your weapon, and your scanner. All of this requires you to slot in specific technologies for specific functions. On the combat side, there are various options for projectiles, so you can customize it to an extent, but it's really just point and shoot. The ship combat works the same. Slot in specific technologies for specific functions to get the desired result. This is not to say that the combat isn't fun. It is really fun, and can suck you in for hours. I'm partial to the space combat, though that could be my inner Star Wars nerd talking. Besides combat, your multi-tool is used for other things. You need to harvest resources with the mining laser, which can be applied to combat, but not well. 
the resources you'll harvest range from stones and metals to pure chemical components used in crafting and keeping you alive. Yes, you heard that right. No Man's Sky is a survival game. It's not the typical managing your hunger and sleep, but similar. You need to manage your oxygen in some areas and your temperature in others. There are other hazards to be weary of as well, all with a way to manage through. On the crafting side, you can build bases and farms or items to sell and everything requires harvesting resources. Or, you can buy all the resources if you chose to amass great wealth. No matter the story you choose to make for yourself, No Man's Sky is best played with friends. You can have a party of four, including yourself, each working together or flying off to distant planets solo. There is also a multiplayer hub where the main story brings you at some point. Here you can take on multiplayer missions for special rewards and see other players online in the hub. By default you will only see your party so the hub really feels populated when you see it. You also return here multiple times throughout the main story, and it's the fastest way to travel to any far-off friends. There are six modes to choose from. Normal, relaxed, creative, survival, Expedition, and Custom. Normal is the original intended experience, and is the best starting point. It's described as an infinite journey to explore and survive in a boundless universe. Relaxed, creative, and survival are all tweaked versions of normal, with different costs and hazards or inventory size. Custom lets you really customize your experience, as the name implies. You can tweak and change many settings, making the game easier or harder to your liking. Expeditions are akin to seasons in Diablo 3. It is a limited time mode, usually available after a big update, where you create a new character to play through, exploring and completing milestones to unlock permanent rewards. All of these rewards can then be acquired on any and all of your characters. The expeditions will usually include and showcase the new additions of the most recent update, making it an easy way to see what's new. Visually, No Man's Sky is amazing. The vastness of space and wide array of planets and biomes make for some incredibly unique things to see. There are many absolutely breathtaking views to be found in the universe, and chasing them down can be a rewarding experience in its own right. Even seeing multiple planets of the same type or biome will be vastly different thanks to the procedural generation. On top of that, the flora and fauna of every world 
is also procedurally generated. And you can find some pretty wacky combinations. You can even tame creatures to keep as pets. The sound of No Man's Sky is honestly some of the best I've heard. The background music is both haunting yet welcoming. It goes a long way to make you feel like an interstellar traveler exploring the unknown reaches of space. The noise of ships and space stations sounds like your childhood dreams of being an astronaut. The firing of your weapons, both handheld and your ships, sound perfectly sci-fi. And all of it comes together to truly immerse you in this open universe exploration game. The game is by no means perfect, as there are quite a few bugs and glitches. A lot of them are graphical and visual bugs. You'll see moments of pop-in or things just not loading. Sometimes when going to a friend's base, some of their structure will be missing on your end. There are also some situations that have you falling through floors or getting stuck in weird places requiring a load of a previous save to fix. The game does crash occasionally on PlayStation as well. While these can subtract from the experience and immersion, the game is so fun, you'll forget about it soon enough. No Man's Sky is a game that rewards you for doing what you want, and pushes you to craft your own story. You are free to explore or fight, work for factions or raid them like a space pirate. There are mysteries to uncover, both through the main story and on your own. It's a game that will put out exactly as much as you put into it. In the end, No Man's Sky has pushed the boundaries of space exploration, and has executed a vision of freedom in games. If you enjoy open-ended survival games, No Man's Sky does it well. If you like space battle, that's here too. If you like trading and using markets to your advantage, No Man's Sky has a place for you. Sean Murray has more than delivered on his promise and given us an amazing and unique game full of content, and is continuing to do so. Thank you for coming to the channel. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll be doing more reviews soon. If you have a suggestion, please leave a comment. Stay tuned for more Simple Guy videos. Bye for now.